Netflix is bringing James Cameron's Titanic back to streaming, and some fans are not happy. In the wake of the disappearance and implosion of Ocean Gate's Titan Submersible, which was on a journey to go see the wreckage of the real-life Titanic, fans think it's kind of an insensitive move to advertise the fact that the 1997 epic will return to Netflix. On June 18, 2023, five people, including Ocean Gate co-founder Stockton Rush, boarded the Titan to visit the Titanic, but the submersible never resurfaced. A few days later, a search team found debris scattered 1,600 feet from the Titanic site and announced that the Titan likely imploded soon after losing contact with ground control about 90 minutes into its dive. The debris is consistent with a catastrophic uh, implosion of uh, the vessel. Cameron's movie is one of the most celebrated films of all time receiving a record-breaking number of Oscars and still gaining new fans every year. But fans think that Netflix is making the complete wrong call with this re-release. Naturally, they took to Twitter to express their anger with the streamer, and they definitely didn't hold back. When you got nothing, you got nothing to lose. Whether or not the arrangement to bring Titanic back to Netflix long predated the Titan Submersible's implosion, which it very likely did, widely advertising Titanic's return to Netflix definitely felt like a gross move to a subset of fans. Over on Twitter, one user revealed they canceled their subscription to the streamer, posting, in part, Netflix marketing director, you know how we could really capitalize on the tragic deaths of these people? Put Titanic on Netflix for some easy cash because $31.6 billion a year in revenue isn't enough. How broken and sick does your brain have to be to think this way? Another user echoed these statements, writing, Netflix is overstepping the boundaries of decency with this timing. People died in a tragic accident at the Titanic site, and now to capitalize on the moment to garner viewers is beyond distasteful. This was clearly a common sentiment, with another user writing, Not the right time for this, Netflix. The world is talking about the Titanic for the wrong reason, and your team should wait for a month or two to release the movie on your platform. Let the families, maritime, and diving industries mourn. In the midst of the Titan's disappearance, when it was still unknown whether or not the submersible could still be found and the passengers safely rescued, Cameron himself actually spoke out, because he's something of an expert when it comes to exploring the wreckage of the Titanic. Deep submergence diving is a mature art. As of the making of this video, Cameron has completed 33 journeys to see the Titanic wreckage, several of which were research for the film. And he also explored the Mariana Trench in 2012 in a submersible that he designed himself, so he does know a thing or two about situations like this. Before the submersible's fate was determined, Cameron told CNN he suspected it had imploded based on his own experiences. The only scenario that I could come up with in my mind that could account for that was, it was uh, an implosion. And when everything was confirmed, he remarked to ABC News that he, like many others, could see clear parallels between the Titan and the Titanic. Cameron said, I'm struck by the similarity of the Titanic disaster itself, where the captain was repeatedly warned about ice ahead of his ship, and yet he steamed at full speed into an ice field on a moonless night, and many died as a result. It's a very similar tragedy at the exact same site. It's astonishing and really quite surreal. Two and a half miles down, 3,821 meters. Pressure outside is three and a half tons per square inch. On July 1st, Titanic, despite the outcry, will be available to watch at Netflix.